make this half price the 4090, they wouldn't have kept that thing in stock, dude. But they didn't do that, did they? Do you guys think that there's actually a conspiracy theory that we're missing here of uh like I'm I'm being like like semi-serious but kind of serious but not not really serious but semi-serious right like AMD is trying to lose market share on GPUs because okay let me turn this music down for a second one sec Is there is there any conceivable reason why they would be trying to do this? Because they seem to be going completely out of their way in every way to be anti-consumer. From like even just starting from the beginning, right? Starting from um the keynote lying about everything. Right? That was like the first kind of red flag, right? They're like kind of fucking just lying their asses off, right? And then uh after the reviews came out, um, blind marketing and blocking uh, reviewers from negative press, etc. Right, all that shit that they were doing on Twitter, and then um, uh, they uh, stopped giving samples to critics, right? And then uh, what was the next one? they locked more power tool so can't overclock can't flash bios um used chiplets lied about power draw like that was the biggest lie i think they're like 50 percent more power more efficiency it's like literally the worst fucking efficiency imaginable right um and then this 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 the newest one here was the whole uh rma thing that was going around on twitter and reddit right where um the i think it was just the reference cards i didn't have this problem on my on my um hellhound or whatever right but the reference cards apparently some of them were like 50c under load with 110c uh junction or hotspot hotspot so like and then uh apparently there's just like this massive problem of like them not being mounted properly or the pace to not being uh applied properly dried up and crusty and shit and then and then them denying rma for it so if if you had if you had one of these that was like 50 celsius but 110 junction and it was just thermal throttling the shit out of you. And then you're like, uh, I kind of want to RMA this. A 60 Celsius Delta doesn't make sense. They're like, no, works as intended. Uh, frying PC working as intended. So anyway, no, it's just, it's just for, for like, I don't care. I don't, I don't care about this so much because we can just fix it ourselves, right? It's kind of the same thing as like, remember when Zotac with the whole capacitor shit? They're like, yeah, we cheaped out on our capacitors. Fuck you, right? That, that means you just don't buy it or you solder your own capacitors, right? At least, you know what I mean? But like, but so when it comes to this, you can just take it apart. You can paste it yourself. You can fix the damn problem yourself. Not really a big deal, right? But, but uh, if you add all of this together, Oh, also, there was that other article where I th I think AMD, AMD lost 6% market share. Or was it more? It was like 8%. I think Intel took 4 and and NVIDIA took another 4. In GPUs. Something like that. Don't quote me on the exact number, right? Um, doesn't something seem off? So, so let's look at the facts for a second. 
they're doing all so not so th this was a surprising one locking more power tool why would you block out overclockers from enjoying your product they're the like overclockers are the ones that spend a shit ton of money and will buy like 10 of them and bin them and shit right why why would yeah and overclockers are a, a large marketing arm too it's like oh look how fast this thing can go under unlimited power or whatever it's fun it's interesting like that's if your product seems like a fun overclocker more people are inclined to buy it but so they blocked that then they lied to gamers and they're giving gamers a defective product and an inefficient product and yeah they lost a shit ton of market share i mean this is this is, the the market share loss has nothing to do with the recent graphics cards this was last quarter or whatever right but if this is a sign of things to come what's their goal so here's the conspiracy part of it okay hang on i got some i got some ideas i got some ideas hang on uh let me let me scroll up here for a second You think they just suck? It's possible, man. But like, this is like, but in order to, so here's the thing. In order to do something like locking power tool out of overclockers, that would take effort. Like there was an engineer or a marketing guy at AMD that was like, we cannot let people overclock this. That was a, that was a very conscious decision to do that, right? That couldn't have just been stupidity, right? Uh, let me catch up. I, I would assume, right? They, they did the same thing with the Fury back in the day, right? Where you could actually overclock the HBM on the Fury and then they locked it out from you. That like you couldn't overclock it. They're like doing a lot of anti-consumer shit. Yeah, Big Ronda. That's kind of where my head is at too, man. Um, Purposely tanking radeon division um I, I wouldn't say i wouldn't say that they're gonna put that money into the cpu market you mean the wafer supply i don't think it's a wafer supply issue either they have more than enough wafers locking overclocking reduce the rmas but then why not do it how nvidia does it with shunt mods because you can tell if the board is soldered that's the best like and then people are like well nvidia has been doing shunts and locking their power limits yeah but they still they leave the shunts on there they don't have to put shunts on there i swear to god nvidia leaves those shunts on there as a form of hey if you want to solder some fucking shit on there you go nuts but you void your warranty i like that that's fair that's a fair way to do it right um if you want to unlock your power limit by all means but you can't rma the card after i'm totally on board with that um the way that amd does that they're like yeah we don't want chunts we don't want you to overclock and we don't want rmas which would make sense because they're denying rmas for even this shit right they're just like nope as intended right uh let me catch you up here that's probably what it is rems you're probably right I just don't want I don't think they have enough I don't think they have enough supply mar, margin or money to deal with RMAs they just don't want to deal with RMAs right what would AMD's goal in losing as, as much market share as possible be so they have to purposely be wanting to tank Radeon division for some reason right okay this is a really really far-fetched theory and I know it sounds crazy, but if they lose enough market share to the point that NVIDIA becomes a, a technical monopoly, doesn't the government have to do something about it? Like, literally, don't they have to step in and do something about it? Like, um, like, 
I don't, I don't know what the exact law is, but if there is a monopoly, I think, I think they have to get above 95% or something like that, like something crazy. But if Nvidia does get there, they either have to split the company up or they have to maybe give AMD a bunch of government uh, loans or stipends or whatever, grants to help them try to compete like there has to be there has to be something to that like some master fucking plan that lisa sue was doing to tank radeon in order for the government to do something about nvidia it's like amd it's like we can't we can't beat this fucking juggernaut man we need the government to step in here that's the only thing that i can think of it's the only thing man i don't know I, it, it still seems pretty crazy to, to think like something like that could could be happening but this this is so beyond ridiculous what amd is doing with radeon it's so anti-consumer and it's so it's such a piss poor launch and product that it's hard to believe they can be that dumb it's 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 very difficult i know amd is fucking retarded but this is difficult this is hard to believe man there has to be some triple a 4d chess move up there that they're trying to make happen that I, we don't know about right could be totally wrong on that shit but uh let me catch you up here yeah what's the goal exactly what's the goal in them doing all this losing market share that has to be the goal what other goal is there and just like lying on stage ruining your entire reputation losing all the goodwill with gamers and reviewers every reviewer on the planet calling you dog shit now like what was the goal right and that's the crazy thing that's where i'm going with all this like what the fuck is going on here the 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 last the, the 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 straw that broke the camel's back here was this hot spot thing and them denying rmas i'm like all right now they're like just straight up refusing people's returns if they've opened the package at all which is wild right not associated with partial monopolies you think that's the play like if they lose enough market share they don't have to pay as much tax that would then maybe that could make up the difference of, of revenue possibly that would actually make a lot of sense like tank it just enough where they get the tax ex tax exemptions right they're never gonna beat nvidia anyway they might as well get the tax right off that's that's really that's that seems very plausible yeah it's not them be, being lazy though everything about this is not lazy making chiplets work in the first place is not lazy locking more more power tool is not lazy going going on the phone with a customer and arguing with them saying no that's not easy either like none of this is easy this is this is this is concentrated effort and purposely fucking up that's what i'm saying this is effort you can't fuck this up this bad without a, without deliberately doing it right if they just left the driver alone more power tool would still work right they're going after that shit 6900 xt did compete gained no market share that was their own fault though they didn't pump these things out during the pandemic they were all sold out for god knows how long and they didn't pump them out right and the ones they did pump out were AIB models for double the price. And those didn't sell, obviously. Right? So that was their own fault. They could have pumped that out at MSRP during the pandemic. And they would have gotten insane market share. Insane market share. But they didn't do that, right? So that's their own fault. And then they probably, instead of like, instead of taking the blame and being like, all right, we fucked the last generation up. They're like, oh nobody buys our product anyway let's just tank this shit and get the government bailout that sounds like something amd would do man because they're, they're kind of like salty children over there we tried so hard and no one bought our 
6900 XT for three thousand dollars but everyone bought the 3090 for three thousand dollars not knowing the 3090 paid for itself in mining anyway right like we just can't win where we're gonna get the government bailout now that's a hunt that sounds a hundred percent like amd that is 100 percent amd dude absolutely dude amd would have gained market share if the 7900 xtx was 700 dollars dude or or 800 half price half price make this half price the 4090 they wouldn't have kept that thing in stock dude or like like that would have fucked nvidia right over on every metric dude but they didn't do that did they they're trying to lose market share they have two choices tank radeon and take the bailout would they get a bailout if it's the same company as they probably the radeon division is a gpu market share right tank radeon take the bailout or try to compete with pricing yeah why wouldn't they take the bailout that's the easiest route to more money it's like or we can drop this to 800 dollars try to get some market share and some goodwill nah fuck that shit let's just take the government bailout and not worry about it yeah i mean would any of us do any different to be honest if we were in that situation probably not it's like hey if we lose five percent more market share we can save x number of millions of dollars in tax exemptions which would cover more than the sale of the graphics cards and then we can take all that wafer supply and put it into epic and shit in the servers yeah that makes perfect sense <clears throat> now here's the thing here's the thing when it comes to monopolies how does the government decide what is negligence and what is attempted like a uh, goodwill of like effort of goodwill if that makes sense like like would the government pick up on them sandbagging right like mulligan like would they would the government looks at their papers and they're like maybe not the pricing thing but there could have been like well you allocated all of your wafers to epic of course you're not going to have any graphics card market share why didn't you allocate the wafers to graphics cards like would the government pick that up right and then not give them the grant i'm sure they have people way smarter than us dealing with dealing with this shit, right but i think we're on the trail here man i think we're on the trail right because they are sam but to a certain degree they're set they're doing all this anti-consumer shit they overpriced the card they're not making any wafers uh the the other thing is why why didn't they have like five hundred thousand of these things on launch because they all sold out not the xt the xtx right they all sold out why didn't they have like five hundred thousand of those things there was like 10k globally right do you know what I'm saying? So they're they are sandbagging for some reason, right? They are mega sandbagging. Oh, and then maybe the Twitter marketing saying we have the fastest graphics card. Buy now. AMD is the best. AMD is the best. Maybe that's them plausible deniability later on, right? Because they'd be like, man, we tried. We were marketing the shit out of that thing. It just nobody bought it. maybe maybe that's possible man anyway that's the main thing that i wanted to talk about today because i was just thinking about this the other day i'm like this this doesn't make any sense what they're doing actually doesn't make any this is like some and you know what the, never mind the amd fanboys defending them and shit dude like in the comments like just ignoring the amd fanboys but like they're gonna they're like the amd fanboys are fucking around and finding out right now dude like this amd is by far the most anti-consumer of the big three right now dude right now by far